Here's something uh, a little different. Is um, I've been working on a, a solar charging this microamp pulse motor, and um, some of the other guys are using the guts out of one of these keychain uh, solar keychain lights that has the three volt lithium or three point six volt lithium, and then a five volt panel. And uh, they make a real good power source for one of these microamp pulse motors. And I had these, I had about four or five of them, but they were old, and these lithium batteries uh, won't hold the charge anymore. So I ordered some new ones, and of course they come from China, uh, otherwise you got to spend a lot more, and now i got to wait for them. But I had a bunch of these little tiny lithium watch batteries, and that's the, what it's a Sanyo ML6213 volt, it's only 5 milliamp per hour. And I just thought I might try and see if it would run this with that. And it worked. It worked really, really good. So I thought I'd do a video about it. And I made a little holder kind of thing for it here. And um, this is the coil out of that uh, microwave oven turntable motor. It's 15,000 ohms. That's the panel, which is about 5 volts out of uh, one of these keychain lights. And this is the circuit. And I'll hold this here and you can take a look at it. Um, I went back to just my simple circuit. I was using Simple Fix's circuit testing this and it worked great, but I, I wanted to see if it would work on just this real simple one here, and it does. Um, just a complementary transistor with a um, resistor here to the emitter on the uh, PNP. Um, 15k on the coil. Uh, there's an LED just across the coil backwards to get the flyback. And what I wanted um, is I did want a uh, flashing LED. I, I like to be able to see it run at night. And um, um, so anyway, I'm sacrificing a little of the amp draw to get that. I'm up to 10 microamps. This will run down around five, and it'll run down to just over one volt on that circuit. And as you get down to around one volt, uh, the microamp uh, draw drops off. So it's it's an interesting curve. It, it's how this thing goes. Um, the lower the voltage as this thing drains down, the lower the amp draw. So it's a very interesting discharge curve on this setup right here. But uh, I ran this for several days. The first couple of days, uh, I ran it without the panel just to see if the little battery would uh, run this 24 hours a day, and it does quite nicely. When you get that amp draw down under 10 microamps, these things run a long time. Um, I ran some interesting numbers. You might want to check me on this, those guys that uh, follow my work. Um, one milliamp would run this for five hours on a five milliamp per hour rated battery, all things being good, which they aren't. Um, at uh, 10 microamps, this ought to run 500 hours, or 21 days, or three weeks with no sunlight. And this, these are in perfect conditions. It won't run like that. But say it only ran 10 days, half of that. Here, where I live in Southern California, I get sunlight most of the time, even when it's cloudy. Like today's a cloudy day. Uh, because I'm at 34 degrees north latitude, I get enough sunlight to make this thing work. Uh, if you lived uh, at the high latitudes or in a rainy, rainy area, this probably wouldn't work. But where I live, this setup here works. I'll possibly do a follow-up on this after a while and, and let you know how long this uh, ran, uh, if there's any problems. But the bearing is another thing I wanted to mention. This is one of the most successful bearings that I have come up with. The needle is suspended with the magnets on a wooden tongue depressor stick. And then there's a magnet at the bottom to hold it straight. Now in the tongue depressor stick is just a little dimple that I used the pencil in there. And then I put crazy glue in it and then I put the pencil lead in there. So it's a graphite and crazy glue dimple where that needle runs and because it's barely held up with these magnets there's not a lot of wear on it and I've been watching this uh, over the course of time and this is one of the more uh, successful bearings that I've come up with that that simple idea right there 
Anyway, I just wanted to give an update um, on where I'm at. The other motors are all running. Uh, everything that I've done here is still operating. Um, that's the simplest. Just a solar waiver from the dollar store with a battery on it. With a, I think it's a 30K resistor in series. Uh, this one's doing quite nicely. And then this one up here. Uh, this was the uh, Yearling Quest. A couple of times I've had to go in there and adjust things. It stopped on me. So this is something that I'm keeping my eye on. And uh, the problem I'm having is the bearing. And that's why I went back to that real simple bearing. Uh, this is the other one that's quite interesting. Is This is the Laser Saber Easy Spin with that same circuit that I just showed with a 10 farad super cap and a 10 mega ohm on the resistor same circuit that I showed this has been running non-stop for about a month now and that's the progress update on my little uh, micro